What is the magnitude of the gravitational force between Earth and its moon? Let's create another page since there's not too much room there. So we'll write our equation out again and that is FG equals big G M1 M2 over R squared. Let's plug our numbers in. So big G is 6.67 .6 times 10 to the negative 11th and that's Newton meter squared over kilograms squared. Okay. M1 is 6 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. That's the mass of the Earth and then the mass of the Moon is 7.3 times 10 to the 22nd kilograms. And then we are dividing by 3.8 times 10 to the 8th meters and that's all squared. So let's look at our units again. So we've got kilograms squared in the denominator and then we've got kilograms and kilograms. So let's cross that out. And then we've got meter squared in the numerator and meter squared in the denominator. So we can cancel them out and then we know we're left with newtons. So we don't need to write all of the units over again. So there's a lot of numbers here, a lot of exponents. And you could go ahead and put this all on your calculator, but sometimes it's hard to do that and you might make a mistake when you're punching it in. So what I think the best way of going about this problem is by separating the number part in front, right, the coefficient, and then separating the 10 to whatever power. So let's just write our coefficient 6.67, and then we have 6, and then 7.3, and in the denominator we have 3.8 squared. And then our exponents, we have 10 to the negative 11th, 10 to the 24th, ten to the twenty second, and then denominator we have ten to the eighth, and that's squared. Okay, so ten to the eighth squared. We can cross that out, that would be ten to the sixteenth. So if you do this calculation, six point six seven times six times seven point three divided by three point eight squared, you would get twenty point two. Okay, that's our first part. And now to find the exponent, well, we have negative eleven plus twenty four plus twenty two, and then we subtract anything in the denominator, so minus sixteen. So that leaves us with nineteen. So that it's ten to the nineteenth. And then remember we had newtons back from up here. So this is not proper scientific notation. 20.2 times 10 to the 19th newtons. So we're going to move this decimal place over and make it 2.0 times 10 to the 20th newtons. So if we go back to our question, that would be letter C.